everyone. I'm Laura from GoSimply.ca and today I have a level 3 lower body strength or muscle conditioning workout. So today you will need a set of dumbbells. We're working the lower body so a heavier set of dumbbells is okay. I'm going to be using 10 and maybe 12 pounds to do this. I've got a warm up and a cool down included. So it's an all-in-one workout. I've also taped a level two and a level one. So make sure that you can do all of those exercises before you move on to this more difficult level. So we're going to start with our warm-up right away with some high knee pulls. So we're just going to put our arms above our head and raise those knees up nice and high. We're just going to go through, mm, I'm not sure, about six or seven exercises here for 30 seconds a piece and just get some nice range of motion going through uh, our lower body so that it is prepared for what is going to come. So our next warm up exercise will be hamstring curls. So we're just going to kick our leg behind us, warm up the back of the leg. You don't need to move your arms. They are going to be holding weights though, so they will they will be working. We're not specifically paying attention to our arms today as far as building muscle there, but we are um, they are definitely going to be holding the weights and so they will be working. So good idea to warm them up too. Okay, now we're just going to do a side leg raise. We're going to alternate each side. This is actually a really good balance move as well, so make sure that those abs are tucked in nice and tight and that pelvis is sort of rocked under. You can put your arms where, wherever they're comfortable for you. They can be on your hips. You can have them out for extra balance. Now we're going to do some toe touch jacks. So this, again, this workout isn't specifically cardio, but your heart rate will get up there simply from lifting the weights. Next up, we're going to do some hip rotations. Okay, it doesn't really matter which leg you start on, but we're just going to do some hip rotations to the outside for the first bit and then we'll move it to the inside. We're going to do the other leg after so it really doesn't matter what leg you're doing. Now switch and pull your knee back in so that your hip is rotating the other way. And we're just going to do this on the other side now. So rotate your hip one way. I'm going outwards first. Just going to reverse the direction. Just a few more seconds here, and then we're going to do some toy soldier kicks. I have to really concentrate on my balance here. <laughs> okay, this is our last warm up exercise. So we're just kicking out in front and trying to touch that toe or reaching for it, anyways. Warming up those hamstrings a bit again, warming up the hip flexor. Excellent. So make sure you go and grab your weights. I have some sitting right here, not these big ones, they're my husband's. So I'm going to be using my 10 pound weights today. And we're going to start with a, actually those are not my 10 pound weights. Um, we're going to start with a squat and then a kick. So in level one we just did a plain squat without anything added. In level two we added a knee to it. In level three we're turning it into a kick. So we're really when we're coming up we're transferring our weight to just one leg and then kicking forward which is getting our heart rate up requiring a lot of balance. So 
So we're doing each of these moves now for 45 seconds. Excellent. So we have 15 second rest here and we're going to go into a reverse lunge with a knee added. I'm going to start on my left side. So you can hold your weights wherever you want. I'm just going to keep mine down at my side. So you're going to lunge back, come up and raise the knee in again. We're transferring weight woo, all onto one side. So it's definitely going to be a balance move for you. You need to make sure that that stomach is pulled in. So the navel is towards the spine. And my heart rate is definitely up. And this is only the second exercise. Excellent. So another 15 second rest. And we're just going to switch and we're going to do that on the right side. So again, the reverse lunge with the knee, same thing. You can keep your weights down here. Some people like them up here. I change what I do each day. It doesn't really matter which one you do. As long as you have good upper body posture. And you don't need to be moving as fast as I am. You can certainly go slower through the motion. That is fine as well. It's whatever works well for you. Just a few more seconds here. Good. So next up, we are going to do a, my timer is not correct with what is coming up next. We are going to do a squat and a side leg raise. Sorry about that, I have the wrong exercise listed. Just a squat and a side leg raise. We did side leg raises in the warm up. So just a few more seconds here. Excellent. Now we're going to do a side lunge alternating with a knee raise. So we're just going to lean off to one side and then come all the way back up to center standing and then add a knee. So up, other side, and up. Back the other way. So again, a big balance challenge. That's the thing with most of these in level three, is we've really added the weight transfer, so it's one leg getting a lot of work. And there's that balance, so the core is really involved to make sure that you don't fall over, which is a good thing. <laughs> So next up we're going to do a sumo squat and we're going to drag our leg in and then uh, lift the knee. Yet again, that weight transfer. And I'm actually going to come forward a little bit because I can't drag my knee, my leg on my mat. So it's that and then up. And then sumo squat, drag and up. So drag it in and up and then the more sort of fluid you can make that, the harder it will be because the weight transfer, you don't have time to sort of complete that stand up. I 
I can hear a tractor going by outside the front of my house. They are definitely fully into spring planting here. Excellent. So now we're going to go down into a bridge. You could be switching up your weights to heavier things and lighter things depending on the exercise. I'm just sticking with what I've got today. So we're going to do a hold the weights on your hips and we're going to go one leg, come down and switch. Come down. So in level one, we did a bridge with no weight at all. In level two, we did it with both feet on the ground and added our weight. And in level three, we're doing one leg at a time. There, that's great. This really is working the glutes. Excellent. And next up we are going to do a reverse plank with weight on it. So I'm going to put one weight aside and I'm just going to rest the other weight on my hips. And so we're going to pelvic tilt up and down. Now I, I, you do have to be a little bit careful with how high up you're going because the weight will roll off. So I have to be a little careful about where that weight is ending up. But really, even just pushing up into the use, like really dig those heels into your mat and use the back of those legs. Squeeze your glutes tight together and lift from there. And you're really getting an excellent lower body muscle conditioning workout there. Try not to use your arms so much. Your arms are there really just to hold up your upper body. Excellent. So next up, we're going to do a squat pulse. So we're going to get down and hold. We did a squat in level one where we just held it. And in level two, we held it, but we added weight. So today we're going to go down and we're just going to pulse right in this sort of up an inch, down an inch. And that very low painful spot and just nice and slow pulses not fast just slow and you can also have your weights down low if that's better for you today I feel like having them up they're just sort of slightly resting on my shoulders so that my arms are getting a break oh the heat the heat pulses are always the death of me or feel like they're going to be Ooh. Great job. So next up we are going to do a calf raise and we're going to hold the weight, which we did in level two, but we're going to hold the weight above our head this time so that we're a much longer lever. So those weights above your head and you're going to go up on your toes and down. And so while we're not lifting any more weight, what is doing is making much must what it is doing is making us much longer, much taller. And so the balance challenge has really gone up a level. Because we're not, we can't use those arms to balance anymore. So our center of gravity is all different when our arms are above our head. Whew. Just a few more seconds here. Okay, great. Now we are going to do a deadlift and we're going to alternate single legs and add that knee so that we're doing the weight transfer again. Okay, so I have to do this slowly or I'll fall over. So it's a deadlift, come up and knee. And if you can, and then switch legs, I forgot we were going to alternate there. If you can, try not to even whoop, let that leg touch the ground. As you can see, I'm wobbling all over the place. So it's that core stability. But try not to let that toe touch in between. It just goes straight back. And then it comes right through center and up. It doesn't even touch the ground, if you can. 
of course, we want to be safe, so if you need to, then that leg is there, so use it. And, you know, stop part way. Excellent. So, next up, we're going to do a pistol squat, alternating, and add a toe raise. So, I'm going to take the weights and sort of hold them together here. So, I step back, come to center, toe raise. Step back on the other side, up, toe raise. So we've added the toe raise, or the calf raise, whatever you want to call it. A little extra work for those calves. And again, it's a balance challenge. And actually, just holding the weights here is, I can feel my biceps working. It's a little bonus. And the lower you go in that pistol squat, remember, the harder it will be. Oh wow, and this is our last exercise already. We're going to do some stretching after this. Excellent. So just put those weights in a safe place. And we're going to start with a quad stretch. So it doesn't matter which side, we're going to do both. So just, I tend to put my hand on my belly button, grab that foot behind you, point that knee down to the floor. Just a few more seconds here. And we're going to switch it up and do the other side. Okay, right, so I'm just going to, we're doing these all for 30 seconds as well. So I have to stare down at the floor so that I don't lose my balance. We're, we're doing that core, core stability challenge in our cool down as well. Okay, we're going to do all the stretches like on each side of the body, so it doesn't matter which one you start with. Okay, I'm going to do a hamstring stretch, so I'm going to put this leg in front, and I'm going to bend back so that I feel this stretch all in the hamstring here, and you can even reach forward and grab that toe if you'd like. Nice flat back. I can also feel a stretch in my opposite glute, so it's getting my left hamstring right now, and my right glute. Okay, and then we're just going to come up, and we're going to switch it. So again, lean back, and if you want to add the toe pull and just get a little deeper into the stretch, doing the calf as well. We did use those calves a lot today. And next up, we're going to do a hip flexor stretch on left and right. So for this, you put, you step back, and then you roll those hips forward so they really tuck under the pelvis. And you should feel a nice stretch in the front of the leg, especially up high where it meets in with the groin. That's where the hip flexor is. They get very tight. We do a lot of sitting. Especially right now, if you're working from home and you don't get up as often, and we're just going to switch sides here. We don't tend to get up as often at home and walk around. The bathroom is a whole lot closer than it is when we're at work and we have to walk down a longer hallway. And the fridge is much closer. We don't have to walk all the way to the break room. So. Hip flexors get really tight when we sit. And next up, we're going to do a butterfly stretch. So just come on down to the ground, put those feet together. Feel free to hold any of these stretches for longer. Just pause the video and hold it a lot longer, or hold it straight through when I do left and right, and then pause and do the same thing for the other side. Uh, holding stretches is, is a really good thing to do. Um, I go them through them probably more quickly than I should in a cool down because, well, people want to finish the workout. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this workout. 
Uh, let me know if you found it challenging or not. And look for, I'll try to put uh, in the description below for level 2 and level 1. So look for those. Make sure that you can do level 1 and 2 before you try level 3. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And remember to stretch out those legs if they still need a little more. Take care.